Hey guys, Casey here. And today I want to talk about how to find chart patterns and support and resistance trades. Okay, so I'm going to be going over a lot of these patterns just to kind of build repetition in your mind and to really get in the hang of finding these patterns and getting used to finding support and resistance levels. Uh, if you can apply this, you will find uh, a big level of improvement in your trading. If you can learn to analyze these and find them and identify them, you're going to find a really big improvement. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by looking at uh, this uh, USD CAD and I'm going to delete uh, my lines here. So uh, the very first thing I want you to notice is that there's levels on a daily chart and those levels are support and resistance okay and you might hear about this all the time and it's very common and it's pretty pretty simple but the truth is that a lot of traders are not looking at these well a lot of traders are and a lot of them aren't you want to be one that is and so what i do is i go to a daily chart and i draw a line okay and if we look at this line here that I just drew, you can notice a few things on it. You can notice that there's a support level here, and then it broke. And so, again, with support and resistance levels, sometimes they break, sometimes they don't. And you'll, you can't really know which is which. That's why we want to look at patterns based off of the levels. So let's, let's use an example here. This level went down to here, and then the next time it tested that, Somebody might be saying, oh, well, we hit a level, let's go long, right? Oh, it's at support. And that might be a good idea, except you would have lost the trade. Uh, and that's okay, because sometimes people lose trades. I never know what's going to happen. I'm not, I can't predict the future, but I look at patterns, and I know that certain patterns have specific percentages. And really, all we need is 50 five sixty percent and we're going to be fine actually we're going to be amazing if we can manage our risk to reward ratio we'll be amazing with our percentages if we can get 55 percent and so we know using support and resistance that's about what you're going to get if we identify some of these patterns so don't think that you got to be amazing but you just have to hit certain patterns a and you have to get certain numbers Okay, so with that being said, right now, this particular trade would have, if you would have gone long, you would have lost, right? Now, if you would wait and then wait for some kind of reversal candle, then maybe you could have gone long. Um, but I, I want to kind of give you a, a picture of how daily and shorter time frames work together. I like to look at uh, daily charts and then I like to combine them with lower time frames to try because I'm only trading an hour a day and or an hour or two hours and I want to get the best patterns on a lower time frame but I draw my lines on a daily so you can just see here if you would have gone long here this would have been a failure and you would have lost however once this becomes a pattern then once it becomes a level then it is something that becomes resistance so it broke through right here and i'll zoom up a little bit get you, so you guys can see it better um, it broke through here but then it tested and it tested a lot it tested here 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 it tested for six or seven days let me count it one two three four five six seven eight nine nine days all right and so what does this mean for you okay this means that every single time that the price went up to this level for nine days in a row you could have taken a short trade and made money okay and i'm just saying you know it looks great in hindsight yes perfect but you know that it could happen for six or nine days in a row 
Okay, now look at this level. This level held, so one day, two day, three day, four, five. You could have shorted this five days in a row. And the reason I say that is because I'm not looking for massive trades. Look at, look at these moves. This is 80 pips. This is 70. This is 40. This is 40. I'm only looking for a 20 pip move. So each one of these days could have been a winning trade on the short side, managing this resistance level. Okay. Um, again, so here's all these winning trades right in here. Short, 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 short. So if I can do it once a day for nine days in a row, that's a nine day winning streak. And I only need to take nine trades. Okay. So using support and resistance levels are really good. Now, part of the, the problem is you have to be in front of the chart when this happens. So um, I'm going to actually draw here a shape on this so I can zoom up and look. we can actually look at what this would actually look like. So we got a, a green candle. So now I'm going to go to a one hour, and that was in August. So I'm going to backtrack a little bit, backtrack all the way to August and see what it would look like on an hourly time frame. And again, this is just to kind of help you guys get used to the patterns. Okay, so let me zoom down a little. All right, so here we have it, okay? Um, every time, so the first one was here, and then we get a pin bar, right? There's a pin bar, and so what we look for, when you're at a support or a resistance area, so here it broke, so now it's at support. So what we look for is a pin bar. It was a fake up, and then the pin bar, and then the price action went down and it went 40 pips. So when we take this trade, uh, sorry for bouncing around, when we take this trade, uh, you can wait for price to maybe break the shelf here that I drew in. You wait for that shelf to get broken and then you enter the trade. Okay, so that would be pretty, pretty good. Um, and I really like that. Uh, so that's a great way to do it. So the thing about waiting for the shelf is this is still a 30 pip trade, right? And so look at here, I use these levels, okay? Because this is our trade management tool. If I do a short here, how many pips am I looking for in my target? I'm only looking for 19. So in this case, I took an entry, my stop loss would have been way up here, no worries, and then the target would have been 19 pips, I would have hit my target down here. So pretty nice looking trade uh, in that situation. Okay, so again, now it comes back up and you can see that there was another fake out right in here. It, I said it retested. So this was the first day's retest. Here's the next day. The first one was it would have been a failure. So if you would have taken this trade, okay, well, it might have failed on you, but you would have got in and you Let's put our levels in again. So we go short. Uh, the stop loss is about 20 pips. So in this case, if I would have gone short here, would have lost, right? So right now we're at one trade, one winner, one loser. That's 50%. Now, uh, however, the next trade, you realize the next day, okay, this one went up. But the next day, we get another, another shot at it. Oh, price moves down. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for price to go down. I know that this is a resistance point or support level, and I get a nice bullish candle or bearish, and I could take a, a trade here. So we'll go short here. And uh, we know that it's about 20 pips. The target, easy, right? Not easy. Trading's not easy, but that's an easy trade. So we have one winner, one loser, and a winner. That's a really good winning percentage, two out of three. Okay, and now here we have another one. Now this day, uh, it popped up. It didn't quite get up to the moving average, but what did we have, or to the level, but what do we have? Well, now we have some really strong downward momentum, and perhaps when you took this trade, maybe you got a little bit more. Uh, depending on the momentum, you know, one of the things that I do is, and this gets me into trouble sometimes, but sometimes I'll move my target out a little bit if I see momentum trying to catch it. So uh, maybe you got a little bit bigger and that increases your risk to reward ratio even more, right? Well, in here we go in and here's the next day. And what do we see? And I use these uh, lines here to indicate the days. That's how I know. So the next day, an, a bounce, 
and it comes up, we get a pin bar. And when the pin bar breaks, what I like to do is put my level here. I like to enter on this, and that would be my entry on that break. So that much would be my trade opportunity, okay? Uh, so pretty pretty good. And so that's each day, right? Now, it, you might have taken this intraday. There's an opportunity for a trade in here. This bearish candle, maybe your entry here. This would be close to 20. You might have got your take profit there or maybe right here, uh, 20. So I'm not going to say that this is a trade, but it could have been because you're thinking downtrend. So now the next day, well, it's popping up and this would have been a reversal day. Uh, but there's not really any resistance point. But then one more time, right into the resistance, and we got a trade. So where would I put my stop loss? I'm looking for a pin bar and then some bearish price action. Um, you can see all the moving averages are pointing lower, right? And so in this per specific situation, uh, we probably would have waited for this pin bar level to get broken and then gone short. Why? Because we have resistance here. We're playing it off of this resistance and boom, there's your trade. So just in this very short period of time, we had quite a few different setups. And then here's another one, right? Here's another trade. Went up to resistance. We have our entry here, another 20 pips. And here's another one. Okay, so this trade, may, you might have got 20 here. And it bounced right back up. If you didn't, if you got that one, great. Well, then here's another opportunity. Get in here, another pattern, and then this one really went down, right? Went way down. Okay, and so then the next day we get another pattern. This one isn't at the resistance point, but it's still up in the moving average. We get a pin bar, and price is moving. So one of the things I like to do is to catch the low of the day. So in this situation, uh, this is a low of the day break. And uh, this would have been 25 pips, so you would have been able to hit your target there. Okay, so it's easy to go back in hindsight. I get that. I get that it's easy. Um, but I'm just trying to do this for training because it's called pattern recognition. Your brain needs to see these support areas. They need to see these resistance points, and they need to see the patterns. Okay, so I could actually do the same thing uh, right here. And I'm just going to show you a lot of different examples because why? Because I'm trying to get you to get an idea of what these patterns look like. Okay, so let's, uh, let's draw these. And so here we have some more. So I'm going to go back to the hourly and we'll just get an idea. We have resistance here that has been tested multiple times. So the first one is right here. We got a couple signals, uh, patterns. When you're looking for those bearish candles that break lows, here's one. This one went 15 pips. This one didn't go. But then this next one did, and this was a 67 pip move. And anytime you can catch a few more than uh, than 20, or and I base it not just off a 20 pip target, but I base it off of my tool, which goes by ATR, 1.5 ATR. So here's another pattern. We got the the test, the test, and then there we have it. 27 pips, and then kept on going. Okay, here's another one. Test the level. We have a, a resistance. At, I probably would have entered right about here, and it went 27 pips, so another good good entry. And right here, test, it went down, maybe wait for the shelf to break, and there's a nice big entry right now. Okay, so that's pretty much what you want to do, is look for those these patterns. Like yesterday, I was looking at this on the daily time frame, and uh, I had this level in. So right now, I've got this level right here. So we are, we're in a range. So I can take this green box, and I can move it now, and I can show you where we're at. Okay, so now we have opportunities inside the current range where we're at. Um, so let's go now and take a look at it on our current price action. So with that being said, uh, I'm currently biased on this to the downside. Why? because it's a downtrend. It is currently at resistance, so I don't really know. It could bounce off this level uh, many times, so I'll trade that, but that's my bias. But I'm not, I'm not I don't know when it's gonna happen. It could go like this. It, it could go sideways for a long time. So just in planning this, what do I know that I have? I have a support level, a pretty solid one. So I'm gonna go back to daily to show you how solid it is. It's been tested. We saw all these times this level's been tested. So this is solid level, okay? 
really solid and it's right back here now. So sometimes when you get consolidation, that's a gold mine. It's a gold mine for support and resistance trades. And, uh, you know, they're not all going to work, but some will. Look at this one. This was one that I was looking at from yesterday. Uh, it went right up into this area, pin bar, and then look at today's move. 63 pips straight down all day long. Uh, here's another one right up into the resistance. We had a, a price action here, a, bull, a bearish candle. It went about 15 pips. I don't know. Maybe you move your stop or move, grab a part of it, get half a trade. Uh, but then again, we get another one, and then this one took off. Okay, 60 pips. So right now we have a pin bar here on the bottom. And this pin bar touches the support level and pops right back up. It goes up 70 pips. Uh, really solid setup, right? Um, and so now, what are we going to look for today? Today, today. What is going to happen today? Well, I don't know what's going to happen, but I can see. I'm going to move my green out here. This is the current situation. Actually, um, by the time you're seeing this, this is going to be a recording. Okay, because I'm recording this. So guess what? By the time you watch this, you'll be able to go back. So but this is going to be released on Friday. I'm currently recording this on Wednesday. So I'm going to be watching this for tomorrow's trades, and you'll be, I'll be, you'll be able to go back and watch and see if I was any good or not. But what I'm looking for right now is for price to come down here, do some kind of pin bar pattern, and then to come back up right? That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm going to look for that and you can get a nice tight stop loss and catch a really big move. Okay, that's that's what I'm anticipating. Now, it's really good to understand all the different opportunities that the market can give us um, just in case we um, just in case we're wrong, right? So uh, let's go ahead and look at another scenario. Let me clear this out. Uh, another thing that can happen is that price, we could get a really strong price action candle that looks like this, okay, and that's filled in and really strong bearish, right, for a lot of momentum. Well, then that would mean a breakout trade, and we could take this as a short, okay, and we're going to go for 20 pips, boom, 20 pips. We could expand it if it's really long. This is a key level, and so, yeah, it might go 20, 30 pips, right? So I gave you two different opportunities that can happen around a level. And we just have to watch the price and then identify what we think the market is doing. And if we're wrong, well, we can change the course of the direction, okay? Um, so that's, that's what we can do. There's always a lot of different patterns that can develop and different things the market can do. Another thing that could happen is that it breaks down like this. And then it comes back right into resistance and it put, you get another pin bar. And then you take the short after the retest because it will retest a lot like that, right? And then it goes down. So you wait for the retest and then you get in. Or maybe you get in here and then you're out and then you wait, you get back in and you get in again on the retest, okay? Uh, so there, there's some different options. And then the last uh, pattern that we see happen is that the price will come down, fake a little bit, and then eventually reverse and then come right back up. Okay, and in that case, if you take the breakout short, you can lose. If you take the, if you buy here and it comes right back, takes out your stop, and you lose on a buy. So you could actually lose on a buy and a sell. And then the, the third option is you're like, oh, I see this is reversing. You have a bullish candle here now, like this. Well, then you can buy it and then take it on the way up, realizing that a fake out had happened. Um, so just some different options, right, that we can take. And again, the biggest thing about trading is the roadmap to success, which is consistency and compounding. Consistency and compounding. It's the double C's. So uh, I don't want to get too off track. I want to focus on, uh, on chart patterns here. Uh, but I do want to talk about brief. I just want to talk briefly just because I think it's so important about your roadmap. Okay, and your consistent uh, long term plan. Okay, so this is me making money, and this is great. Yeah, yeah. Uh, doesn't make me anything special, but you can see my 56% win rate, right? What I was saying is what we need uh, to be successful, and my, my average win is 28, my average loss is 28, right? So it's a one to one. 
uh, but 56%. I need to keep working on these, identify the patterns better, keep improving. Uh, but as we as we grow as traders, we'll get these better. Uh, but this is what I wanted to talk about was the roadmap. Uh, it's called consistency and compounding. And the consistency comes from taking the same trades over and over again and finding your patterns and just being consistent in doing it and doing it in month one, month two, month three, month four, month five, six. It starts, the grind starts to get to you and you still haven't really gone anywhere, right? You're, you're making $4,000 a month. That's good, but you're really, the grind is really taking its toll. You've got to be consistent, okay? Now, the next part of the consistency formula is compounding, the double Cs. It's the 50. You're risking 50. Now you're risking 100. Now you're at 150. Now you're at 200. So you take the consistency and you continue to do it over and over again and you slowly increase the size. That's where the compounding happens, right? So you're consistently taking money out of the market and consistently doing it and then you're consistently increasing the size and that's where the power comes from, right? That's where the roadmap comes from. So if you decide to sign up with a road uh, for a, a roadmap call with me, I need to know a couple things so we can calculate your stats. I need to know what you're winning, your average win, your average loss, and your win percentage. So you're going to have to tell me that or else we're not going to be able to build out a roadmap. Okay, and I'm going to build out a roadmap for you like this for the next 12 months. And you can actually take this roadmap, which I've done uh, in the past, and you can just take this and you can do this and duplicate it, and you can do year two. So this is year one, and then this here is year two, right? So we'll just type in year two right here. And then you just keep adjusting the numbers. And so I will tell you that any single person that has a, ro a solid roadmap that's consistent for two years in a row can be really successful. But the key is, uh, you know, if I adjust these numbers, which I will later, this will be really good numbers. Um, but the key is to be consistent, and it's not easy, guys. I want to just challenge you. You can do this, right? You can be consistent. You can do this, all right? And I really want to help you, want to work with you in the future and help you develop your roadmap. So make sure you get on that call with me. I really would appreciate it. Okay, so uh, so that's what I'm looking at right now is playing this level on the USD CAD and also here on um, on the, the, the resistance and the support. So let's keep analyzing, right? So what, what other levels are there? So after we get a price break, well, guess what? There's another level, and I could do this again. There's another level to the downside, right? Everything in trading is about timing and levels. It's about timing and levels, okay? And, uh, you know, we use, I use these moving averages also because when it's a trending market, you can see that it's pointing down. And if you look at an hourly time frame, you can see they work as great bounce points. Like right here, the 200 was a great bounce point. Um, and there will be times when you see the 50 is a great bounce point. Um, but if you combine, you know, sometimes the moving averages will work without a resistance point. So they're just kind of nice visual helper there. But so, so let's uh, keep looking. So once we break through here, I'm going to now have another range, right? This range is a little bigger than this, this one. So this range was 82 pips, and this range is 100, right? And you can see that it respected this range pretty good. It didn't quite do it every day. These were Some of these were smaller. Most of them were smaller. But on the big days, it did a, a full. Actually, one day it did the full range. This day it almost did. And then half, half, half. So you're not going to get all the way to the level. And the level's not a specific uh, to the pip point. It's more of a zone, right? It's more of a zone. And you're looking for those patterns close to those levels. So tomorrow, as this goes in, I'm going to be looking at taking a bounce on this. And uh, it's a high probability trade. It's a good setup. And I think that we could really do well with it. So another thing is now let's just say we're going to move down here and it breaks to the downside, well, now I'm going to be looking for short trades to this level, okay? And then I'm looking for bounces. 
Every once in a while, it'll break right through. I mean, this was nice. It broke right through the level and went right to the level. This one, it broke through and went right to the level. That's where you catch these breakout trades. So this one broke the level, went right through. This one broke the level, went right through. And then this one broke the level almost and then right through, right? So those are really nice. And, you know, maybe we'll have one of those tomorrow. Maybe it'll break the level, go right down here. Uh, but I'm looking for a bounce, catching a bounce first. And then if it ends up breaking, then I'm going to take it down. And once it's down here, I'm going to do that. And so now I need another level. Well, where do we have a level? Well, we've got one right here. We got another level, another place to look for a bounce, and then to look for a pattern, right? So you go to your daily chart, and you just keep these levels in play. And then when you go to your hourly to take the trades, you find these, right? And so, uh, again, just to keeping to talking about the roadmap. And uh, I think having that, that vision is really important. Most traders get lost in the daily grind. But I want to help coach you to accomplish your vision. And if you work with me, we're going to work on your spreadsheet together. We're going to be together for a full year. And so you have an opportunity to work with me and help you develop your vision and help you accomplish the roadmap. My goal is to, uh, to see you accomplish this roadmap right? We're going to walk it out together. And I have people, you guys might have seen Isaac from earlier. He's already uh, well on this road. And I just had a call with Isaac and uh, he drives a cab and he trades and drives a cab uh, to get enough money. And that really motivates me. And so I'm really thankful that I've been able to work with him and to see him. And we're going to celebrate the day that he stops driving that cab. And I'm really excited about that. And I know it's going to happen. And so if you're in a situation like that, and you want to join and work with me for a year, then, uh, you know, do it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. So let's look at, uh, some more of these patterns. Now I just want to keep hammering them away. Let's take a look at the Euro dollar. All right. The Euro dollar. So, uh, we can draw our levels in, and right now we're currently in a range on the euro dollar. So what happened in yesterday's trading? And actually, if you guys have been with me, you might have known I got taken out on this trade yesterday. Um, rather than looking for this reversal, I got thinking it was a breakout and it took me the wrong way. I should have taken this reversal trade. I would have got 50, 60 pips. It would have been a great trade. However, the first day I got it long and I made it. And so I was still in a long mindset and I was forgetting about the level. So uh, that's on me, and I'm going to get better. Just like that's why I keep notes of all my trades, and I go over them. And so now I'm going back, and I'm like, oh, duh, I should have seen that. Well, you're not always going to see everything, but it's good as you go back and you review your trades, you can see it. So right now, where are we at? What's happening? Well, we're sideways, right? So uh, in today. In the next session coming up, what am I going to be looking for? Well, I'm going to be looking for trades to get reversed right in here. Or if the price breaks down overnight, I'm going to be looking for it to reverse down here. And I'm going to be looking for these patterns. And I'm looking for the reversal trades. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do, this is something you can do if you're doing some analysis at the end of the day and you're looking for daily. So let's do this. This is going to be fun. Uh, well, maybe for me it's fun. Um, so I'm going to insert my little cool rectangle right in here. Okay. And I'm going to be looking for setups in here. This is going to remind me and I, this is going to remind me where to look for setups. Okay. So I'm pre planning tomorrow's session. I am going to be looking for reversal trades in these two areas, okay? And we're going to see how well it goes. And uh, if I can catch one on this side or this side, then uh, it could be a great trade either way, right? So uh, I might be wrong. I might not, but I've got these in on my charts. So I'm going to be ready for them for the next day to see what happens. And then if it breaks through and we get a breakout, I don't mind taking the other direction. Why? Because let's go to the daily time frame and we can draw another level, right? We know that there's a level right here. Okay. There's a level here. So it could be a nice big move right to the top of this level. 
So, um, and then if we go, if we end up going down, I'm not going to say I know which direction we're going to go. But we might still play these levels all day tomorrow. Might go boom, 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 boom. But the idea is to identify chart patterns in conjunction with support and resistance level. It's the most powerful thing that you can do. Uh, so um, let's take a look here at some more patterns. So I'm going to drop down to an hourly, and we're going to look at some of them. So again, here's one. We have. I'm just going to draw the level in here. Right, you can see it touched the level, touched the level. We got a candle, and then down we went. Okay, here's another one. Touched the level, we get a nice bearish candle, and down we went. Okay, um, over here, let me go to some of the the bullish ones. So you can see what they look like. Here is a double bottom. It touched this level, and we popped up. And this might have actually been a winning trade in itself. 34 pips. Let's see what the levels are on this euro. Type in levels. And we'll go here. The levels on the euro are about 20 pips, same as they were on the CAD. So, you know, right here we have a, this is a, the, the resistance point we identified, our support level. We get a candle. We broke this high. It took some time to develop, but eventually it went 47 pips right up into the level. Now, do, does it always work? No. No, it doesn't, because look at this one. I mean, this candle never rejected, so would I take it? I didn't get a, I didn't get a bearish signal, so I might have taken a breakout here. And in this one, the breakout happened, and boom, there you have a trade, 50 pips. So right back, we went back to test the level again, and there we have it, uh, right here. Okay, uh, so there, there you have it. A nice bullish candle. It bounced, went right up. It took these levels. Once I start seeing this bullish momentum, I might draw my line right here, cause have my entry be here, and then 30, 50 pips later, we're at my target. So that is what I really want you guys to focus on doing. I'm going to be working on the training with you guys. I'm really excited about it. Let's see what happens in the next session. Uh, let's, I'm going to draw it out in the USD Canadian too. I'm going to do, let's do, let's delete this. Uh, let's delete this. Okay. And I'll be ready for these the day ahead. And so sometimes you can actually enjoy uh, trading by drawing these out in advance so you know where to look for your reversals. That's a, a something I really want you guys to practice. Um, okay. All right. Um, so uh, that's it for this video, this training. Thank you so much. Uh, I really would like a chance to work for, with you. If you didn't get a chance to get on a call yet, go ahead. I want to plan your roadmap. But I want to work with you for a year and help you develop a roadmap like you've seen me develop. And you, you get access to my tools too. So I want to see you guys go in one year from 500, well, from 1,200 up to 81,000. That's what I want to see. And then in two years, we're, I'll do the numbers on this one, but it's going to be really big, <laughs> like 500,000. It's going to be awesome, right? But listen, I, this isn't pie-in-the-sky stuff. This isn't warp speed. This is hard work. It's dedication. It's consistency and compounding. And so just by saying that, I know I'm going to scare most people away. But for those of you who want to be a part of this, then... I really want you to be a part of this and I want you to work with me and be a part of our community because we're really making a difference in traders and helping them and we're working together. So you also get my tools, which is uh, the, um, the VS Pro indicator and the Epic Money Management tool, which are really good solid tools. All right, well, that's it for this video. Really looking forward to working with you. I highly recommend you give us a shot. Thank you.